Alright, so this is a fairly easy tutorial on how to spawn <clears throat> AIs constantly. And you can pick which kind of AI you want, like infantry or vehicle or what kind of vehicle. All that. And you can activate them with trigger, so it's really good for a defense kind of mission. I'll just set up a easy example at the airport. You want to start out with a miscellaneous a spawn AI module, which we'll set to op for. Man, that's how many people can be spawned at one particular point in time. You probably want to leave that at 50, because any higher, and then you'll just get overwhelmed pretty quickly. And then this is the max amount it can spawn each time, every 15 seconds, when it spawns a group. So we'll set this to 0 for vehicles, and we'll do 10 soldiers. That way they can kind of keep a constant 50 coming at you. So that to C set up for. If these don't, uh, match up with the side, then they won't spawn. And it's the same for the spawn point, which we'll get to in a minute. Anyway, so infantry waiting, uh, we'll just set that to 10. You can't go over 10, otherwise it won't spawn either, so that's just like the percentages that spawn, so if we have like 10, 10, 10, 10, it'll equally spawn these, or 10, and then 1 for all these. These will be rare, and these will be common to spawn. Anyway, so that's a lot of the way. And then we'll add the spawn AI spawn points. These have to match up as well too, otherwise it won't work, so see that up for infantry. And this is just the same kind of chance thing. It'll spawn all the units at one point, I think. So we'll do we'll do ten and ten on both of these since we have it uh set up like that. Anyway, so we'll put this one here. We'll put two spawn points. We'll do the same thing here. And right now they're grouped, which is not going to work, so you have to ungroup them, and then you can link them. Alright, so the way this is going to work now is this is what spawns the units, and if you don't attach anything to it, they'll spawn right on this, but when you attach these, it'll pick one of these points, and you can have as many as you want, and it'll spawn them at one of those points. And then we'll go ahead and add our player in. And then, just go ahead and do this so they don't shoot at me. Put them right there. Alright. And then, so right now, all this is going to do, we'll go and preview it real quick. That's set to 15, okay. The neat thing about modules is that you can trigger activate any single one of them, really. So, anyway, in 15, ignore that. About 15 seconds, see, there you go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, is that 9? Huh, whatever. That's 8, but... <coughs> It doesn't matter. This is, I guess, as many as can spawn in one squad. And then in 15 more seconds, it'll either spawn them there or there again. Yeah, alright, so I pick this one again. And it's random each time. If I were to change the numbers and set them each to this one to 10, another one to 5, and they would primarily spawn here and then rarely spawn there, or vice versa if I switched them. But you can see at 15 seconds, these can build up pretty quickly. It'll be a little bit harder. So that's 16 people right now. It can still spawn. Uh, was that 34 more? Yeah, there they are. Anyway, and I'll keep doing that until it reaches 50, and then it'll stop. Anyway, and then, so as you saw right there, they were just standing there and they didn't really do anything. So it's kind of useless. But then we can add in a. We'll go to. Where is that multiplayer? A sector. The name doesn't really matter. The designation is just the first letter that you want to show on the map. That's not really. I mean, you can do that if you're trying to make a mission, but it's not really necessary for this tutorial. And then these are, like, the sector can be taken, meaning that people can, and then you can fight back and forth for kind of like a King of the Hill type deal. Uh, so. Well, if, so the enemy can't capture it and the player will just keep uh, 
keep control of it always. We'll just set it like that. This number really doesn't matter. As long as it's just one, it'll work. Because nothing else can capture it except for a player. And the player's only going to be on the uh, NATO side, so it'll it'll work. And then the default owner will be blue 4. The task owners will be uh, everyone. That way everyone's trying to keep control of this. And then we will do OK. All right. And now, as that is, it will not work, so we need to add some game logic and do the area not base area and then that's good you don't have to do anything with that we'll ungroup it then we will link it and now you need the two sides that are going to be fighting for that area which are going to be in game logic sides blue 4 and op 4 Like this. Hold on. Connect those. Alright. So now whenever we spawn in, let's go and stand right off over here. Preview. See there's alpha. That's the uh sector that we spawned. Or I think the the area actually. See right there, that's the zone. And then these will spawn. And they're not moving towards it, hold up. Oh, that's the problem, okay. You need a Anyway, so that you, you need to make this, like this has to be created. And they didn't target it because they weren't told to target it, which is really easy to do. All you have to do is go in miscellaneous, spawn AI sector tactic. And what this does is, right what it says, and, uh, if you, it's pretty much if you, all right, so you spawn this, we'll ungroup it, we'll uh, link it to the, to the sector. And now that we've done that, they're going to fight for anything attached to that sector, which is this area. And you can either attach this to the spawn AI module, or you, if you don't attach it to anything, like and every single spawn AI module you'll make will automatically target this sector tactic. So now... The enemies should spawn and then move towards the area to try and capture it. There they go. And when they get to it, they will not be able to capture it. Because, oh, and by the way, these will spawn at different amounts because these are like spec ops rather than just a regular rifle squad. And it spawns squads, it doesn't spawn individual units, so it'll spawn. See, all right, now they're at, and uh, but that went away because I'm close to it now. If I back up, it'll pop back up. Anyway, they are at it, and then they'll just stand there and try and take it. There's nobody for them to attack this, so it doesn't matter, but I take a couple bullets. There's another squad moving in. Alright, and then from here we can add, let's go ahead and move all this over to, oops, and then you can obviously just add in, say like, uh, blue 4, NATO, um, yeah that works, so we'll just drop them right don't do that. And then I believe, let me double check, if we, no, I think it's the sector. Maybe not, I don't know. We'll just set these right at it and then. There we are. 
Alright, so now we have a squad defending it, and then a. The enemies just spawned. Taking their positions, they're a little slow, obviously. There you go. The reason why they aren't moving up right now is because they're being engaged, so they won't move up until uh, it's safe. More to spawn. And then pretty much they'll just keep spawning, and then whenever they finally take all these guys out, they'll try and take over the base. So. We can then add, say, let's get rid of these. Just copy this whole thing right here. Copy. And now you can have them coming in from multiple directions. And then, you probably want to set this up somewhere else. So you could set it up like at one of these bases. Then you just have a continuous uh, attack from enemies. And then an easy way to end this, since there's really no simple way is you could just do a trigger and then do timeout and set it to like two uh we'll do like you could do twelve hundred seconds that's twenty minutes i believe so and then you could just do activation or type and and that'll end the mission whenever this is done set that to yeah none so it wouldn't be activated but let's get rid of that and then in twenty minutes that would end the mission and that's pretty much a simple way to set up a defense type of mission. Thanks for watching.